friendly people, beautiful parks, great shopping and dining, and an all-around epic reputation. There's a reason this Wisconsin city is known as Hometown USA. Let's go to Verona. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. Verona, a town of around 13,000 people, is a place bursting with neighborly charm and cozy small town vibes. It also has miles of natural trails and tons of outdoor activities. Verona may sit on the periphery of Madison, but you'll want to make sure it's a destination well within your sights. On my bucket list now for well over a decade, has been taking an office tour at Epic in Verona. Okay, Peg, I will admit, I have a very cloudy definition in my head as to what Epic is. What do you guys do here? So Epic is a software company. Mm -hmm. So we develop electronic medical records. So when you go to the doctor and they document your height and weight and what medications you're taking, they're usually typing that into the computer. So we develop software that supports that workflow and wherever else you go in the health system. One thing that also really surprised me was just the magnitude of the campus here. You look around every corner, every bend, and it's just something wild and crazy to see. It's amazing. The attention to detail really is something special. Yeah. It really supports what we do. We, you know, when working in healthcare, you know, if you're working on a really hard problem, you know, being inspired to look at it something slightly differently in a more creative way can really help find the best solution for the things that we're working on. You guys do actually encourage people to come and they can take a self-guided tour. Absolutely, yeah. We, we love having visitors and there, you know, we have self-guided tours throughout the week where you can come and tour the campus and see all the different landmarks. It's not just, you know, an open museum here. You actually get to participate in the tour. In fact, one of my favorite parts of being in the Alice building was the slide. They had, you know, an upside down staircase. They had teeny tiny furniture. And then I turn around the corner and there's an actual slide that you're allowed to go down. So naturally our entire crew went down the slide, not once, but twice. <laughs> oh my God, going too fast. We love having visitors, especially the folks around the Verona area who are coming in to, to come and join us and see us and, and see what we're all about. Uh, we really, really encourage and, and enjoy that. Well, I'm glad I'm here. It's amazing. <laughs> and I can't reiterate enough how phenomenal it is that Epic has really held on to its Verona roots. Well, we wouldn't space. be here without the Verona area, true. so that's very true. <laughs> After experiencing Epic's interactive tour, it'll be easy to go from self-guided to self-serve at Verona's local wine bar. Toot and Kate are two sisters from a small town in Albany, Wisconsin, who decided to open a wine bar. And felt like it was something that, you know, the Madison area could really have and benefit from, especially Verona. I can't imagine operating a business anywhere else. I mean, it's been pretty much perfect. When you come in, you get a wine card, which the bartender will provide you behind the bar. There's 16 different wines, eight white, eight red, and you can go in with three different pour sizes for every bottle, so you can just taste one, you can pour a glass, or you can pour a Cortino if you found one that you really like, and you're on your way. Yeah. I think the best thing about coming here and hanging out is like everyone feels welcome. We call it our happy place. It's kind of become like a neighborhood bar, and when you come here, I feel like you can make friends easily and, and get a good sense of like what to enjoy in town. We have a lot of regulars that can recommend awesome places for out-of-towners to come look at. It's close to the bike trail. It's just a great place. That's why we live here. Plan your adventures in every corner of our state by streaming Discover Wisconsin anytime, anywhere.
Coming up, we'll learn all about environmental sustainability at Dane County's only farm incubator. Welcome back to Discover Wisconsin, where we're going green in Verona. In 1983, Linda and Jean Farley purchased land and built a house in Verona. Passionate about making the world a more desirable place, they opened their home for meetings and retreats to help promote social justice. In 2009, the estate formally became the Farley Center for Peace, Justice, and Sustainability. 25 of the 43 acres became a natural cemetery called the Natural Path Sanctuary. The revenue from this cemetery helps to support the other programs run by the Farley Center. The Natural Path Sanctuary is obviously the engine of everything else we do. It fits right in with our whole environmental mission. We are definitely geared towards teaching people about sustainable environmental practices. The Farley Center is also home to Dane County's only farm incubator. Although it enjoys great success today, the collaborative farm here started with humble roots as an informal community gardening project aimed at helping Hmong families farm. Vanessa, you are one of the Farley Center's uh, farmers in the Farm Collaborative. Were you farming before this? How did you come to be a farmer here at the farm, Farley Center? Yes, uh, when I was uh, little, um, uh, my mom and um, we grow vegetables. They have a lot of different uh, farmers here and it's a really friendly community here. For me to come here to farm, uh, I don't need to worry about the um, heavy burdens of the financial side of it. I can only focus uh, you know, on uh, growing the good foods uh, for the community. Farming can have a lot of barriers, and so it was really great to hear directly from the farmer herself. And she took me through her gardens, and we got to harvest vegetables. It was a great experience that I got to enjoy with her. Okay, all right. See? Oh, yeah, that is a good one. That's probably the biggest one yet. Yeah. Uh, usually for the uh, green leaves, uh, you have a lot of uh, antioxidants. Another great project here at the Farley Center is the Beekeeper Pilot Program. The concept is easy. You bring in people who want to learn, and you give them the entire season, starting with empty hives, all the way through honey extraction. That's one we're really excited about because it's getting very popular and just bees are so important to agriculture. It feels like Linda and Jean's mission and their vision from the beginning just lives on. It's the legacy that keeps on giving, helping one another, bringing justice to all different facets of life. And I think you feel that when you're here. In the big picture, we may be a small drop in the bucket. What I do know is that the people come out here, they often go away with a different outlook. And not necessarily from what I say, but from what they see. Not many places can boast about having a national scenic trail within its city limits, but Verona can. Primarily for foot travel, it showcases Wisconsin's world-renowned glacial features. And it just happens to be maintained primarily by hardworking volunteers. The Ice Age Trail Alliance not only builds trail and provides hiking experiences, but it also provides what we like to think of as parks for people to hike through. It's nice to be able to get out and away from everybody uh, and experience nature in the quiet and solitude that's out here. But we would like people to realize the Ice Age Trail is a volunteer organization. About uh, 80 to 90 percent of the work that's done is done by volunteers. You can walk through a lot of different sections of the trail here in Verona where you're going to see restored prairies. And that's a lot of what Dane County's landscape would have been, you know, in the Verona area and elsewhere in Dane County would have looked like this. It would have been prairie, it would have been oak savanna. So it's kind of a chance to be able to actually see, you know, how it would be if it was untouched by humans being out here. Literally every single mile of the trail is telling a different story of the history of Wisconsin before essentially there was people here. The Ice Age Trail is a national scenic trail, but unlike the Appalachian Trail or the Pacific Crest Trail, it largely goes through urban and suburban areas. So that we want everybody to have easy access to the trail. Part of doing that is to have uh, trail communities scattered along the trail that participate in that and urge their 
community residents to get out onto the trail and help support it. And we're grateful to both the city and the town of Verona for doing that. Want to learn more about our favorite places to visit in Wisconsin? Subscribe to Discover Wisconsin's official podcast, The Cabin. Coming up, we'll observe how animals and humans can learn and grow in harmony at the Heartland Farm Sanctuary. Welcome back to Verona, here on Discover Wisconsin. Sanctuary, refuge, retreat. For many people, these words bring a sense of comfort. Verona has many places that offer a little piece of paradise, but some take these words to heart. So what is Heartland Farm Sanctuary? So we provide a forever home to rescued farm animals and through that, we try to provide humane education to the public as well as experiential therapy. I love how you guys created the sanctuary to, to be a rescue for animals and then found that human connection as well. Yeah. So what is the significance uh, between connecting people and animals and finding that middle ground? Yeah, so building that connection is really important because animals and humans, when they bond together, can actually provide wellness and health benefits for both. So we don't just come in and serve the animals. The animals very much serve us. There's just so many opportunities for people to kind of come and either, you know, just be around animals because it feels nice or to heal if they're having, you know, some problems um, or to really just focus on a way of learning that is compassion based versus what we traditionally know. It was really incredible to have my kids here with me today because Heartland Farm Sanctuary is perfect for anyone, but especially kids. Do you have a chicken too? Yeah. Look. They're probably friends, or maybe not. <laughs> yeah. Um, my favorite part was either the cow or the ducks. There was a blind duck, and it made me feel really bad. But uh, they did help it. They did bring it in here, which I'm like kind of amazed by. Heartland Farm Sanctuary has a variety of animals from emus to llamas, cows, pigs, chickens, ducks. I really enjoy the pigs. I think a lot of times people forget or don't know that pigs are very intelligent animals and so we got to see, we got to see a lot of personality today. So Maxwell um, was just a tiny little piglet. Hi Maxwell. He jumped off the truck and landed on the highway. Somebody had rescued him and you know called us and, and so he came to live here. He's not fully grown. He is not fully grown. He's about, I think around 400 pounds right now. So he is, definitely has a lot more growing to do. <laughs> and I have a pig eating my shoe right yeah. now. <laughs> it's great that this is here. It really lives up to his name, Heartland Farm Sanctuary. It's a sanctuary for all. Absolutely, yes. If you're looking for an oasis of your own, I suggest heading to Fireman's Park to cool off at the beach. One of the things that we're really recognized for here in the city of Verona is our great park system and the recreational opportunities that we have. We're at uh, Fireman's Park. This is a park that's been uh, in the city of Verona for a long time. Uh, for the most part, years ago, people would just come down here and they would swim down at the beach. It was nothing fancy. Now it really has become a destination. We, as a family, are thrilled about this park because it's very close to home. We're a big basketball family, so we definitely utilize the basketball court. I would have died for the splash pad 15 years ago when I had my first kid. And the beach itself, we all love and appreciate the beach, either for you know, training for a triathlon, to cool off in the midday. And again, the little ones love it because of the sandy area, and it's the fact that it has something for everybody is huge. So it's just all around, it's just so many excellent things that they've done to improve the park. And it makes me proud every day I walk through it, and I just see people using it all the time. To see behind the scenes photos from our time in Verona, head to discoverwisconsin.com. Stick around. Up next, we bring our canine friends to one of Wisconsin's most beloved hangouts, the Beer Garden. Discover Wisconsin is back, exploring Verona.
Wisconsin Brewing Company in Verona is an iconic spot in Dane County, one of the most popular hangout spots in the area. What I love about Wisconsin Brewing Company is they very much encourage you to bring your little canine friends and enjoy. Josie, you're ruining the whole interview. Uh, and enjoy the patio. Verona, southwestern Wisconsin here is one of the perfect environments on the planet as far as I'm concerned. And folks, their responsibility when they come out here is to enjoy life, to enjoy their family, their friends, and have a couple two-tree beers as we say while they're doing it. I believe Wisconsin Brewing Company is important in the Verona area because we represent strong, proud Wisconsin traditions and heritage. We're all about brewing, we're all about family, we're all about friends, we're all about the enjoyment of life. Working hard, but understanding that you have a responsibility to your environment, to your community. When we say Wisconsin Brewing Company, we mean it. Almost all the equipment you've seen in there has been sourced in Wisconsin. Our tanks were made in Wisconsin. Our brew house, German engineered, but made up and fabricated up in Hudson, Wisconsin. What you see out there represents Wisconsin industry, Wisconsin talent, and Wisconsin commitment. The brewing community is actually a pretty tight community for the most part. Understand, I've been in brewing 42 years. When I first started, there was less than 100 breweries in this country. Now there's between nine and 10,000. So there's been an incredible renaissance of beer making in this country. And I think that's great because beer is all about personality. So I think the more the merrier. Wanting to experience more of this beer renaissance, we decided to hop on over to the town of Paoli, home of the Hop Garden. The town of Paoli is a very unique place, and you can really spend a whole day here. We're just a little ways out of Madison. We're actually 14 miles from downtown Madison to here on the bike path. So we get tons of bikers coming down. Um, it's just far enough out of Madison that people think they're out in the country, but it's not too far. The Hop Garden is a uh, farm to glass brewery. So we grow all of our own hops at the uh, farm about 10 miles south of here. And uh, we've been doing that for about uh, eight years. And then we started professionally brewing about six years ago. And uh, then we opened this up in Paoli uh, as our tap room. And uh, we've been kind of just growing here ever since. So what makes this truly unique is that we're growing all of our own hops and using those in our beer. And I don't know many other brewery in Wisconsin that's doing that. So the best description of this is we want it to be your third space. So you have your home, your work, we want you to be totally comfortable out here. You're gonna uh, enjoy a good beer, enjoy some good tacos, burritos, barbecue on, on Saturdays, and just meet with friends, meet with family, bring the kids out, bring the dog out, and listen to some great local music. All in all, Paoli and Verona have amazing spaces for home, work, and play. Charming, unique, and incredibly interesting, this town is anything but basic. But it's the friendly, hometown atmosphere that keeps people coming back to Verona. That sounds like something I could do. Yeah, How long you, will it take to boil? You can also boil it in soup. Stream Discover Wisconsin anywhere, anytime. Continue the adventure on Apple TV, Amazon Fire, Roku, Smart TV, Chromecast, and discoverwisconsin.com.